While I definitely talk to the client about everything that they want to see in the redesign, that is many pieces of the puzzle, but it's not the whole puzzle. Really look at the competition um, with a very careful eye. Everyone's competing for the same dollar or euro. <laughs> and um, it's, it's looking at competition is good because you can kind of see what the angle of attack is for each competitor and how well they're executing it. Like once you get a feel for what it is, just try to say like, well, how effective is this on me? Um, and then you can kind of take that information. And when you go off to design something new, you can, um, oh, just kind of have a better idea of like what really resonated with you um, as far as like uh, approaches to try to achieve the site goals. So let's get into more like what that means, what that looks like. So Royal Gorge Rafting, the whole point is to have a, have a great experience, book a tour uh, with rafting or zip lining. Um, and so looking at other competitors, we are going to be looking for how much how compelling it is to want to raft with them, um, how compelling it is to want to book with them. Those are the main things I'm looking at. Of course, I'm looking at many things, but those are the really key things. The first thing I'm going to do is look at the Royal Gorge rafting site. And then I've already done that, though. But So now we're going to go to another competitor. Here we have Adventures on the Gorge. They have an autoplay video. Um, they do a lot of cuts. Uh, it's very naturey right now. Now we have drone shots. <laughs> and now we have time lapse. A lot of time lapse. Um, it's too much time lapse, honestly, <laughs> but it's okay. What's good though is that they're showing that they do many things. It's not just about um, rafting. They're really showcasing that Rafting is a part of it, so is the pool area, so is like the climbing that we saw just a second ago. They have zip lining. Um, this is pretty cool stuff. This is pretty good. This video does a good job of kind of showing that, hey, we do so many things. So even scrolling down the page, we have a more, uh, we get to see what they want us to focus on, which looks like packages. So that automatically they launch right into packages. Um, which is, all right, that's fine. I mean, hey, if it works for them, if that's what they want to do, sure. Um, then they get into check rates and dates. And then we have, uh, then they start getting into all the different things they do. I do feel it's a bit of a mistake to go straight into packages, but that's okay. Um, so they have zip lines, uh, timber, trek, adventure park, treetop canopy tour. I mean, this looks pretty awesome. And they seem to have a lot of stuff. They uh, have a site that's pretty easy. Everything is grouped uh, very well, so I'm not like kind of confusing anything. And I have very uh, clear headlines. So it's good. On a number of levels, this site really works for me in many ways. I like it a lot. Um, good videos to get into. Uh, hard to fault this site for much of anything, uh, to be honest. So this is pretty strong competition. Now this competition is in a uh, tin, you know, Virginia, so it's a very different. Um, it's a very it's a different state altogether. So it's not like direct competition, but um, but it is a whole different business. So it's good to see what they're doing, and really, there's a lot of things that I like that they're doing, and it's so normally I would take this time to kind of like make some mental notes about what exactly I liked, um, what. Uh, just resonated with me and, and that's the big word I'm going to use a lot is resonate um, and just try to try to recreate that in um, in a redesign for my client so things that are working for me are the autoplay video that is huge and the giant text um, giant text and short text headlines that we have here and there and even in these packages we have short giant text um, that's good. I did a video series on um, the you know 10 secrets behind Apple's winning homepage. Giant text is one of them. It's, it's, it's just helps you understand something so quickly and uh, really um, it looks exciting when you see something big and then you have like an image beside it. Uh, it's, a, it's a cinematic kind of like larger than life feel to the text. It brings more importance to the text when it's short but very, very large font size. 
So I like the menu a lot. Um, it's very easy to see all the navigation. Um, I do see that they have this uh, kind of, uh, I don't know, mega menu, I guess is what you call it for sub navigation. I feel like this would be very difficult to do on a phone. I probably wouldn't do that, but that's okay. I also feel like this text up here, super, super tiny. I uh, wouldn't have text that tiny, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> Might be there for SEO sake, I don't know, but it's just, it's hard for me to read and I have an eye for detail. <laughs> so uh, coming down though, but uh, there's, there's just so much good stuff here. Um, but let's look at another competitor. I could talk all day about all the fine things that I like about this. Let's see another competitor. Oh, real quick. Their angle of attack is to show you multiple points of value and it's to, uh, it looks like I see a get a quote that never leaves me up there. And I see two times they're trying to hear and then here check rates and dates. They're all, two times back to back. They're trying to uh, get me to book. So that's really pushing the whole experience and book. And then they talk a little bit about, you know, the different things. Oh, view pricing and calendar. <laughs> okay. So you can't even click these. That's really interesting. I thought originally you'd click these and then go to like say gravity lines, but no, they want you to book like, <laughs> only I guess by learn more. Let's see if we go to the treetop canopy tour. Okay, only if you go to learn more do you go to the actual treetop page. So pretty heavy is the booking. It is very heavy. It's the only real obvious thing to do until you get to this midsection where you have like the social networks and the guide, um, view all deals. Again, we get back to you know, the packages that they have. And these are not clickable. So yeah, we're back to packages. Uh, man. So I'm going to say this has some extreme goals going on with booking. And that's really, really good to see. Next one is um, AVA. Uh, they're under uh, coloradorafting.net. This is another competitor. This is a direct competitor because they're in the same area at Colorado as um, Royal Gorge Rafting. So it says uh, Adventure Weights, and then you scroll down, and then look at how that, how that goes, this parallax effect. This took a lot of work. And actually, if I clear the cache, I want to show you something kind of important to see. It's loading, 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 and loading. It takes a long time to load. I have a really good, strong internet connection, and that takes a long time to load. It's about maybe six, seven seconds total, which is just, to me, it's unacceptable, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I guess they're okay with uh, having people wait that long in this day in 2018. <laughs> but anyway, um, Adventure Awaits, I don't know. It's very beautiful. I will give it that. It is a very beautiful looking uh, homepage, um, but it does not communicate adventure or um, or a rafting experience um, or much of experience at all. It just kind of is beautiful. And when I scroll down, it's kind of more, it's kind of fun, but I'm not thinking adventure. So then we come down and again, really good topography work. This again is a really beautiful site. Um, but my eye wants to go to the headline, discover your next adventure. But then I feel like I'm having to work really hard already at trying to like, I mean, look at all these options. This is just, it's a lot. I prefer they just kind of show me things um, instead of me having to like figure out their menu um, automatically. So already I know like that's not working for me, that way of uh, seeing everything that they have to offer. It's not just out there for me to see. Uh, next, uh, now we're getting into more obvious kind of like what they have to offer. And it's kind of neat, you hover over these and um, you have this video that starts playing. This again is a really nice touch. Um, but... Uh, I don't know. Is it really making me want to like click on it more? I mean, I'm just sitting here watching a video. I'm, I'm being more entertained, um, not really feeling a call to action. I mean, but again, the site is, it's beautiful, but, and it took a lot of time to make this, 
but doesn't really drive home that let's that action within me it's just i just i'm stuck at looking at things um so that's that's about all i have to say about that um why choose ava that's a good question it's, it's but ha having me read more about it, it's like i don't i don't know i mean i i guess some people might find that helpful um i don't I'd rather have it be obvious kind of why you would choose AVA instead of them like having, making me read and learn more about them as far as like why to choose them. Um, and 20 years in service, like I don't care how long you've been in business. I mean, it's either a good time or it's not. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, but uh, but they it looks like they had good videos. It's just the way that they're laying them out. It's just artsy. It's just kind of artsy to me. Um, notes from our guides. I mean, I don't know who's going to read that, to be honest. It's probably a blog for SEO sake. And then we have the footer. So overall, this competitor, while it's beautiful, I feel it uh, belongs in an art museum. It, it really is amazing what they're able to achieve here. But it doesn't drive me to book, and it doesn't give me this immediate, all this awesome that they have to offer. And so kind of misses the mark on a, on a practical level for me. I'm going to go to the next site. Next we have Oars. And they're another competitor in the Colorado area for whitewater rafting. Um, their site <laughs> has a lot in the navigation. Oh my gosh. It's overwhelming. Um, how much they have here. I guess ORS, you know, has multiple locations and so they kind of got to do this. But um, I don't know. It's 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 a little crazy. I'd rather just click on destinations and then see all these sub pages, but that's beside the point. Let me just review this page. Um, it's, it's, I don't know. It's a business site. I, I, it's, I don't really like it. I don't like it. I like the top part. I like this uh, header area. It's very strong. It's very clean. It has authority. I like where the logo is. I do like the logo. So I like the typography of it, but as far as like the imagery and the experience of it all, this looks kind of lame. Um, it's, a, it's a nice looking site, but it's not giving me an experience. Um, and to me that kind of misses the mark again also like the the plan reserve is here but i really feel like it should be standing out in color or it doesn't jump out like that's the big thing that they want me to do um so not happening for me uh colorado map yeah this is just uh not working for me <laughs> but that's another competitor so good to see kind of where different competitors are falling short uh, where different competitors are doing an awesome job. Um, and it comes back to I really like a lot of the things I see on this Adventures on the Gorge. So that's it. I just wanted to just really emphasize that when you're doing a client redesign, looking at competitors is vital, in my opinion. Uh, just seeing what works and what doesn't work. And um, man, I... Normally, I would be taking notes right now, but I'm just doing this video, so it's a little different. I'm just kind of summarizing. But uh, but yeah, yeah, there's a lot of ideas that I took from this um, that I'll be putting that you will then find in the uh, redesign that I do for Royal Gorge Rafting.